So what if I told you guys that a certain amount of perks from past Call of Duty such as Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 1 are making a return here in World War 2? What is going on you guys? This is Gaming with Sal and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about an update that just rolled out for World War 2 recently today and basically I'm going to be discussing how there are some throwback basic trainings coming into the game, a throwback playlist, domination turning into domination 75, and then also the requisitions basic training getting a nerf. So let's go ahead and break down this update one by one starting now. So let's first jump into the throwback basic trainings. If you guys didn't know, I made a video about this a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month or so ago talking about how some of these basic trainings got leaked and what these basic trainings do and their abilities from their past games. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out that video before you will go ahead and see the rest of this video, I highly recommend you do so. I'll leave a link in the description below or a card on screen somewhere so you guys can click on that video and go watch that. But anyways, there are seven throwback basic trainings that got thrown into this game and those are Danger Close, Commando Pro, Double Tap, Martyrdom, Stun Times 3, stopping power and juggernaut so the thing is when it comes to these basic trainings you can't use them in the regular playlists you can only use these basic trainings in the throwback playlist so therefore you know you can't use danger close or commando pro when you're going to play a regular game of team deathmatch or something like that and that's a really good thing in my opinion because some of these perks or basic trainings used to be somewhat overpowered whenever it came to their past games that they were in so whenever it comes to world war ii and trying to mix that in alongside with the regular basic trainings and the regular you know playlist for the game modes it could end up becoming an issue so i do like the fact that you can only use these basic trainings in the throwback playlist now at the same time i can't really break down each of these basic trainings one by one because i've already done that like i said in a previous video so if you guys want to see more information on that i will leave a link in the description below and i'll go ahead and put up another card once again here so that you guys can go ahead and directly just go straight to that video but at the same time i do want to add one little piece of information and that is that these basic trainings don't really seem to be as intense as they were in their past games like for example commando pro back in modern warfare 2 commando pro used to be insane like i'm not even joking you guys you can literally melee your weapon like towards your enemy 10 feet away but here in world war 2 that doesn't seem to be the case however there is a significant like distance between the amount you could go ahead and melee your weapon towards your enemy versus if you played a regular game in the regular playlist within world war 2 so the abilities are still there from past games but they're not as intense as they used to be now as far as throwback basic trainings go that's pretty much all I can say about it because I already did talk about you know these basic trainings and their abilities in past videos so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to domination now now domination recently just got changed to domination 75 meaning every single time you get a kill upon an enemy you're gonna be awarded 75 points rather than 50 points and if you guys didn't know we actually got domination 100 a couple of weeks ago over the weekend as a separate playlist or a separate game mode to see whether or not fans enjoy domination 100 versus domination 50 and then sledgehammer games after that went ahead and went on Twitter and put up a poll asking fans which version of domination they preferred and after that poll and I guess after taking all the feedback that they received they went ahead and decided that domination 75 was the perfect way to balance out the fans who enjoyed domination 50 and domination 100 as well as not take away too much away from the objective game mode itself you know whenever it comes to domination because one of their main concerns was that if we went ahead and made domination domination 100 well people are going to go after their streaks rather than the objective and they're just going to completely forget that you know the flags are there or that we're supposed to be playing the objective and not just go straight for our score streaks and I guess they can go ahead and avoid that from happening but also give fans the satisfaction of being able to earn more score while playing this game mode and finally you guys whenever it comes to the requisitions basic training we did receive a nerf for that basic training and a lot of people if you guys didn't know kind of had an issue with requisitions for these past few weeks because it allowed good and bad players to be able to earn the higher end streaks really easily in the beginning of the match whenever it comes to game modes such as domination or any sort of objective game mode and it really got under people's skins because it kind of doesn't give you the incentive to want to go after these higher streaks anymore and they went ahead and decided to roll out a nerf for this basic training but it might not be in the form that you guys would be expecting it to be so let me go ahead and elaborate more on this so whenever it comes to the score streaks here in world war ii basically everything stayed the same if you're going to be using the requisitions basic training except the changes basically start from the emergency airdrop to the firebombing run the paratroopers the carpet bombing run and then the ball turret gunner and basically whenever i said that they nerfed this basic training well they didn't really nerf 
the abilities of these score streaks or the way they perform, but rather they increase the cost of these certain score streaks that I just listed right now versus what they were before the nerf actually rolled out. So for example, the emergency airdrop, this costed 1800 score before the nerf rolled out and now it costs you 2400 instead. Next up, the fire bombing run, it used to cost 1950 points and now it costs 2700 points. Moving forward, the paratroopers used to cost 2400 before the nerf and now it will cost you 3300 points after the nerf. The carpet bombing run used to cost 2850 points before the nerf and now it costs you 3850 points instead. And finally, the ball turret gunner used to cost 3600 points before the nerf and now it will cost you 4800 points. So basically in the end, you can still earn these streaks by using the requisitions basic training, but it might take you much longer than it did before. And whenever it comes to certain game modes such as team deathmatch, well, you can basically pretty much say that it's completely impossible to get something like the ball turret gunner or it's going to be extremely rare because to be able to drop 4800 points within a team deathmatch, whether it's on shipment 1944 or any other map, it's pretty rare. So whenever it comes to game modes such as domination, hardpoint or anything like that, you're still going to probably see people using requisitions to get these higher end streaks, except it's just going to take them a little bit more longer than it would before. And with that said, that pretty much wraps up this video and basically what the update brings to the game. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the bell icon so you'll never miss an upload, follow me on my social media accounts to stay connected, and tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like these perks coming back as throwback basic trainings under the throwback playlist? Do you guys enjoy Domination 75 more than the original Domination 50? Do you guys like the requisitions basic training nerf or would you change it up a little bit more than what they did? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys want to share them. But anyways, you guys, I'll go ahead and talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves and bye.